Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Meissner Media tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at round tripping from Premiere Pro to Speedgrade. Speedgrade, if you haven't used it at all yet, is Adobe's color grading software, and it's really gotten pretty good over the years. It started out and it was not good, but now it's very usable, and I use it all the time for projects that don't really have the time to go into DaVinci Resolve. So without further ado, let's hop into Premiere and see what we got. So I've got this sequence of just kind of three random little clips I shot a while ago that look like they're in need of some grading. So what you do once you have your uh, whole sequence made inside of Premiere Pro, you can just go up to File, Direct Link to Adobe Speed Grade. And what this will do is it'll ask you if you want to save your project and open Adobe Speed Grade. And of course, you do want to save and open it up. So hit Yes, and that will save it, and it will close out your project. Don't worry about this. This is normal. This is just the way it works. It'll close that out and open up Speed Grade. And then it's got your sequence all ready to go, just like it was before. So there it is, looking good. So now what you do is it's just like any other color grading application. You've got your color controls down here. We're not going to go too in-depth about how speed grade works. We'll just kind of do a general grade. I'm going to open up my scopes over here. I'm just going to bump up the saturation a bunch. And I'll increase the contrast just a smidgen. And then if you want to copy a grade from one clip to another, this is something that I could not find on the internet and had to discover on my own. Just Control-C to copy, go over to your next clip, make sure it's selected, Control-V to paste. Look at that. You know, quick tip. And you can just do this over here as well. And say you want this one to be a little bit crunchier, we can bring your shadow gamma down. And that looks really good. So next thing you do is just hit Control-S to save. You can close out of that guy. And then reopen your Premiere project. And look. All the colors applied non-destructively. So how it's applied is instead of rendering out the clip, it just applies like the quote speed grade unquote effect to the clip. It's really called Lumetri, and you can see it right here. I've also got a horizontal flip on this one. That's completely different. Bad example. So see, you've got your Lumetri effect, and you can actually copy this to other clips in your timeline already. So you don't need to render anything. You don't need to worry about conforming stuff. It's just an effect applied on to the clip that looks really, really good. So it's a super handy thing to do, especially if you have a bunch of really time sensitive stuff like I have recently and you still wanna make your stuff look better than everyone else's and you don't really have an hour to spend in DaVinci Resolve. So you just pop into speed grade, get it done real fast, make it look really cool. And you know, you're good to go. You'll probably do a little bit more than just saturation and crunching it up, but still like pretty big difference for a extremely short amount of time. So, if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to give it a like. If you didn't, be sure to give it a dislike. No matter what, let me know what you think down in the comments, because those really help me out a lot. If you want to see more stuff like this, be sure to subscribe to the Meester Media YouTube channel. You can also check out our Facebook and Twitter page, which is in the description below. If you really want to see more, be sure to check out the website, www.meesternermedia.com, where under the Downloads tabs, there's an ever-growing stock library of looks and, you know, just kind of random stuff as I make it and decide other people could like it. So that's a really neat thing to check out. If you think your friends would enjoy this, be sure to share this with them on your various social platforms, whatever you may be on. Once again, I've been Theo with Meesner Media. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.